Hey everyone, it's Andrew Praver with Great Expectations Realty. This is a real short video to explain who I am and what I do, why I do it and all of that in just a few minutes, hopefully. <laughs> I am a real estate broker here in Ocala, Florida. I have lived here for about 20 years now. Uh, before that, I lived in uh, Puerto Rico, Texas, Michigan, and Alaska, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> I have um, actually been doing this since my grandmother talked me into it. She was a real estate broker down in Fort Myers, Florida. Sadly, she passed away just a few months before I decided to open up my own brokerage. So she was never able to actually see my own brokerage, but I'm sure she would have loved it. Uh, her and I had a lot of discussions and um, long chats about my real estate career, and she was really proud of me, and I know that. So... Uh, that was really, it was great that she got to see up until this point in my career. Uh, like I said, she's been doing, she was doing uh, real estate for years and years in Fort Myers, and she definitely thought that I would be great at real estate. She was correct. I absolutely love it. I got into it in 2007, and I started as a property manager, uh, but I really wanted to work with investors, and I really wanted to help uh, new home buyers and my tenants become home buyers. And uh, the company that I was working at, even though I was there for five years, uh, they really wanted to keep me as a property manager only. So I left there. I did end up doing a lot of things with sales and with customers and stuff. And uh, over the years, I've learned a lot. Everything from 1031 exchanges to uh, escrows for brokers and property managers and all sorts of stuff. I mean, just the things you can learn over the years. It's crazy. So it's been a really interesting experience. Uh, it's one of those things where you never get bored. It's always changing. You can always grow. You can always level up. One thing that I've seen as a real estate broker owner is uh, that a lot of the newer agents seem to just, they get taken advantage of often. Uh, they really don't know what they don't know. Uh, they don't know how to level up. And my heart goes out to them because I was there once myself, weren't we all? So I try to help those that are just coming into it and really trying to mentor them and help them. And uh, that's really, it's been great to see so many agents that their careers have just blossomed and they've just learned so much. Uh, having agents that had absolutely no clue about property management become amazing flourishing property managers has been great as well. Uh, back in two tw uh, 2020, I had been doing a lot over the years with YouTube as far as using it as a medium to uh, show investors, you know, foreclosed homes and having them purchase through that way uh, because you could share really large video files. So I was sharing those files with investors from all over the world and they were purchasing sight unseen with those videos. My videos were very different back in 2008, 2009, 2010. Uh, they were, I, I was so worried about making sure that I was very honest about the sights and smells in those foreclosures that instead of coming in going, oh, this, this property has such great potential and this is this, I went in to find the faults and like, oh, this is disgusting, but I got a guy. So <laughs> uh, a lot of investors actually really enjoyed those videos. Uh, now I did take take the videos for one specific investor, but at that time you couldn't make videos private or unlisted or anything like that. So it just went out for public use. And other investors started coming to me going, I really enjoyed your video and how honest you were. You weren't trying to sell me something. You were just showing what, what you're actually looking at and smelling um, because that doesn't come across in a video. You really have to voice that opinion. So uh, I actually had a lot of, of people you know, that became customers and even friends because of those videos. So come around 2020, it was always on the back burner that I wanted to do a lot more with my YouTube channel. And I happened to have a lot more time on my hands at that point. So I decided to really let go of some of my, you know, vulnerabilities and stuff. I'm a very shy person at times. And I did a full on YouTube channel and I uh, decided that I was going to make it a goal, and I'm very goal oriented, to go ahead and do at least five videos per week. So every single weekday, I would upload something by 10 a.m. I, I have to admit those videos were absolutely terrible. 
<laughs> but I've left them up there, uh, even though they're kind of embarrassing at this point uh, because I have learned a lot. Um, I still want people to go back and see, here's what I did. Here's my learning, you know, experience. Here's, you know, even though it's terrible, it's still people are really going to relate to you not wearing makeup and having wet hair and just getting something done and getting it over with. Uh, some of my most popular videos were ones that I just did walking around my neighborhood because I didn't have any content planned for that day and I had a goal. So over fast forward, we had so many people that were relocating and coming to our area and we became a major relocation hub. And the only place they could really get information was online. And lo and behold, I had a bazillion videos about Ocala and what it's like living here because that's the only thing I could offer. To me, it seemed very reasonable to share all of that stuff with you know people moving down here. I basically looked at it and said, what would I want to know if I were moving to another state or across country? I would want to know about the schools and I'd want to know about the hospitals and I'd want to know about the job market and I would want to know what the neighborhoods look like or the prices for houses or, you know, what's a basement, you know? <laughs> so how are the houses built? Um, what's the drive time? What does it look like driving around town? All of those things. Um, where, are the, where are the different gated communities? Should I go to a gated community? Uh, everything, all of that stuff. Uh, we have almost a thousand videos now on our YouTube channel and we get about 20,000 views on average per month. And uh, it's been a really wild ride. Uh, I have to say that people really appreciated not really the perf perfect, you know, kind of look, uh, but the real and they can relate to that. And it was just something so simple. And that's what I'm trying to show other realtors is you, you're the one that has this information. You know where the best pizza place is. You know why we have pool enclosures or bird cages as some of them call them. You know all of this stuff. So share it, you know. Uh, so that's, that's what I do with my classes is give real world experience. I do still do sales. Uh, very small amount of sales. I just want to keep my my toe in the water. I want to make sure that I still know what's going on. I still am in there with my agents just as much, um, but primarily it's my my agents, my team, my family that um, takes care of majority of the customers. And uh, they've you know they've become friends with so many of them from so many different places. So it's been really great to see that and watch their young careers flourish. So that's been really great too. So that is why I went ahead and got my instructor's license is because it's something that I feel I can teach. I can teach property management. I can teach uh, social media to small businesses because I have. I've gone to our Chamber of Commerce and I've been asked to speak uh, in regards to that. And, and some of the other uh, corporations and companies around town have asked me to come in and talk to their sales force. So I've done that, um, but I really, my heart is always, of course, with the realtors. So I want to do that first and foremost. And my husband has been absolutely amazing in encouraging me with all of this. So not, am I, not only am I a Florida realtor faculty member, but I also went ahead and got my instructor's license so that I can have everything covered. <laughs> I really like to do things by the book. Of course, property management, it's all about make sure you have your paperwork in order. So I did go ahead and do that. And then I found out it had to be licensed under a school. So I went ahead and started a school. So why not? Uh, it's more for professional development than it is for how to get your license. There are plenty of schools already out there for that. Uh, mine is more about leveling up in the career choice that you have decided on. So that's what I am doing. Hopefully I can come to help some of the agents in your area. Uh, or if you are coming to Ocala and you would like to meet up, you're always welcome to come to my office and we'll sit down for coffee. So hopefully that answers some questions about what I do and why I do it. There's of course a lot more to the story. I have two amazing kids, one's in high school and one is in college and they're just so great. Um, and I have a very annoying dog. <laughs> We just got a puppy, so it's, uh, it's a great life. It's a really wonderful life here, and I am really happy to share it with others. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerned, of course, you can reach me at ger.expectmore at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, and thanks for watching. Bye.